keep it off. Today we got something special. Today we are doing a recipe review of Kenny Fisher's anabolic pretzel. I myself have been in the mall before and I have smelled that amazing Auntie Anne's pretzels. They're so soft and delicious. My kids love them. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had one and he claims it's very close. This is a very good copycat recipe, so I had to give it a try for myself. Let's see. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth for you to be making at home? Let's find out. My name is Tommy, and if you like videos just like this, where we do recipe reviews and cover the whole gamut of dieting lifestyle, then subscribe to keep it off, because we got a whole lot more in store for you. Let's go. Get strong. Get strong. For this recipe, these are the ingredients that we'll be needing. Yeast, I can't believe it's not butter, flour, vanilla-based casein, cinnamon, salt, swerve granular. First up, we got a, a bowl on a measuring scale here and we need 40 grams of all-purpose flour. Obviously, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, but in Kenny's video, he tops it with cinnamon and sugar. And I feel like there's so many different toppings that we could add to this. At the end of the video, stay tuned because I have something I think that would just elevate it to the next level. And I want your guys' opinion on that down in the comments section. All right, 40 grams of flour, done. Next up, uh, casein protein powder. He says that whey will not work. It's got to be casein. 33 grams of vanilla-based casein going in. This uh, vanilla-based casein smells really good. 33 grams in. Next up, five grams of Swerve. All right, five grams in. All right, next up, we need four grams of salt. All right, four grams in. Next up is two grams of the baking yeast. So now we have all our dry ingredients. We're gonna just sift them into the bowl, make sure everything is nicely incorporated. Next up, we need 14 grams of, I can't believe it's not butter, the light one. And uh, we're gonna put that in our scale and melt it down. Once we get the butter melted down a bit, we're gonna dump it in here and we're gonna mix it all in. Our dry ingredients are still gonna be pretty dry, but we just wanna get it all incorporated. So if you've used all the ingredients that he recommends to use, the next step is gonna be to add 100 grams of water but he says to add it little by little and mix it well. Cause we're looking to make kind of a, like a dough like consistency. So this is the consistency you're kind of looking for. You don't want it to be too wet. You want it to kind of like be like dough, he says. I feel like mine is a little bit too wet, but we'll see. After fussing quite a bit, I've been able to mold it into a pretzel looking form, uh, but let's take some advice from Kenny and make sure that we don't add too much water because if it's too wet, it is very hard to work with. So let's make sure we adhere to that and don't be silly like I was. Now we're gonna get it into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes and let's see what our final product looks like. And before getting it into the air fryer, I forgot one of the most important parts. You gotta take a whole egg and you gotta get a nice coating of the egg wash on here. That's what's really gonna help it bake nicely. And you wanna get the whole top and the sides of it. Gotta 
get our Bob Ross on. The smell is really, really good. So I hope the taste matches it. Now let's get in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And while we're waiting for that to uh, cook and bake, we're gonna uh, get our toppings ready. So the topping that he does is a cinnamon sugar topping and you need eight grams of sugar and then uh, two grams of cinnamon. So now we've got our cinnamon and our sugar. We just mix that up and, uh, but to make sure that that sticks, need a little bit more of that I can't believe it's not butter two grams to be exact just so that way it'll the, the sugar will stick wow that was two grams two grams guys is barely anything all right guys it's done oh my god let me just tell you first thoughts that looks amazing and I thought I did a kind of a poop job putting it together and oh my gosh look at that that looks awesome Wow, and it's really got a nice like bread consistency. Wow. We should uh, let it cool a little bit and then we'll add our toppings. We've let this rest a bit. Now we've melted a little bit more butter, just about two grams, and we're gonna put it on there just so that way when we put the cinnamon sugar on there, it can stick to something. get the cinnamon and sugar on there. I'm not gonna go too heavy. I know uh, Kenny kind of really covered his. You can kind of do it how you think it's best. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Normally we'd go over the macros right now, but because the aroma and the smell is so good, Kenny, if you're watching this, my daughter wants to come in and she wants to taste test it first. So we're gonna do that, but before she eats it, I want to give this pretzel its due justice and kind of just give you a, a good shot of that. That looks pretty darn amazing. What do you guys think? So, can it be held? Oh yeah, you can handle this, no problem. All right, very good. Let's bring her in and let's see what she thinks. This is Angelica, this is my nine-year-old daughter. Uh, so. Let's have her do a taste test. Hey, before you taste, you're not gonna hurt his feelings. You're not gonna hurt people's feelings. This is your opinion. Just cause you don't like something doesn't mean someone else might not like it and vice versa. So if you like it, great. If you don't like it, that's okay too. We got to be honest, okay? All right, give it a shot. Good? All right, so on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate it? Um, I think a nine. A nine, wow, that's very generous. So you would eat this again? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm gonna taste it first and then I wanna share with you an idea that I have as a topping, because there's a million toppings we could put on this, right? But something to make it a little less sweet and a little bit more bready. Let's give her, oh, actually, we need to go over the numbers. Thank you, Jelly. Let's go over the numbers. For this whole pretzel, the way that Kenny instructed us to do and with the ingredients that I use, these are the numbers that I came up with. It is only 297 calories and 29 grams of protein. That is darn, darn good. Very low in fat, only 4.6 grams of fat. So let's try it out because the numbers, fantastic. But if it tastes like poop, then what's the point? All right, let's see. A 
looks pretty good. I think I did the 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I did preheat my air fryer. But I think my dough didn't cook all the way through. So I think it needed a little bit more, but it's still very good. Hold on. Let's give the boss a piece. And it tears. It just tears like a like a like like a, like a real pretzel. I like it. Kenny says that you can meal prep these and they reheat well. I haven't tried that as this is my first time making this. I'm definitely going to be making it again uh, and playing around with the toppings. Look at that. It's got the uh, a hole in it just like a pretzel. That's cool. I like that. I wonder how it would taste with some everything bagel seasoning on it. I really think that may uh, that may elevate it for me anyway. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. How would you season this as far as toppings? I feel like there's a gajillion things you could do. You could, uh, you could put a frosting on it. That might be interesting. Hmm. I gotta think on that. But I think this is a winner. Two thumbs up. Great job, Kenny. I'm going to leave a link to his video on this and his channel down in the uh, down in the description. Go check him out. If you like videos just like this, where we do recipe reviews and cover the whole gamut of dieting lifestyle, then please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to keep it off because we got a whole lot more in store for you. And remember, Get it off and keep it off. Peace. Be strong. Be strong.